Welcome. In front of me is an Honor 200 Pro and today I will show you how you can go to the setup process of this phone. Started you, once you boot it up, uh, you'll be presented with the welcoming screen where you get to select your desired language. Now for me, automatically it defaulted to English, which is good. So I'm just gonna choose start and then region wise, again, find the region from the vast uh, list and then click on next which at that point you will be presented with terms of use. I can select right here that I have read carefully and agreed to them, like we all do, and then go to next page, which allows you to insert a SIM card. I can insert a SIM card at any point, though uh, for eSIM uh, wise, you, this is the only page you can insert your eSIM at throughout the setup process. You can do so later on after the setup is completed. While SIM card wise, you can pop it in at any moment you want and it will just work. Now. The reason this is showing up right here is because uh, inserting a SIM card is one of the ways you can connect to network through mobile network. And then the second page will be the uh, network from Wi-Fi. If you choose to skip both of those, which you totally can, uh, date and time won't be set automatically, hence it's showing up right here. And additionally, you won't have the Google login page show up throughout the setup process, as well as the option to restore your apps and data from a Google backup. Now. Next page, we have Google services and we have things like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You could turn those off if you wanted to, but let's be honest, it's Google. So turning those off means crap all because Google will still gather your data no matter what. Probably, I should add. Um, moving on to the next page, we have data and privacy. Very funny statement coming from Honor Brand, considering this is basically Huawei and they got a nice slap on the wrist for just exactly opposite of what data and privacy usually means. Um, so anyway, uh, we're just gonna select next. Then we have device protection. And here you can select a couple different ways to protect your phone. That'd be fingerprint, uh, face recognition, and pin pattern or password. Now, if you're planning to use anything like fingerprint or face recognition, or both, you will always be required to have pen, pattern, password. And the reason for that is if something would happen, happen to your biometrics, meaning for instance, your fingerprint or face, uh, you would lose access to your phone. So that would leave you with the last option, which would be a pen, pattern, or password. Now, with that being said, you don't have to protect your device if you don't want to. So you can select skip right here and yeah, skip anyway. And then we have enhanced services on the next page. So we can go through this uh, and see exactly what this is. I typically don't even want to read what kind of enhanced services that is uh, or that are offered to me. And I just usually select no thanks if I have the option. Um, again, that probably usually means nothing because privacy on Android devices is just non-existent. So anyway, uh, later. And we have location services again later. Uh, keep your uh, software up to date. Now this is a tricky one uh, because instead of having later button, uh, it's basically right here hidden in the text. So update manual, click on the blue text and then select don't enable. Next, um, obviously uh, going back to that don't enable, obviously if you want updates to be delivered to you when they come out for your phone, then uh, just select the button that was right there to confirm it. Uh, I don't, so. That's why I select uh, to not enable it. Now on the next page, we have the system update, uh, no, update, sorry, not update, uh, system navigation. And we have two different methods. We have the gestures and the three button uh, at the bottom, which you typically have throughout the setup process. Now I'll be choosing gestures, which are selected by default. And you can also go to the gesture tutorial if you want to. But luckily nowadays we can just select finish without actually needing to learn those as most of us already probably know how to use those. And once you do that, you are then presented with the home screen. So with the device fully set up, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.